Happy New Year, everybody. I hope 2022 is great to each and every one of you. Wishing you guys all nothing but health, wealth, and prosperity. I've been sick for the past week. So now I can't sleep. I've been in bed for days and days and days. Now I can't sleep. It's almost 4 a.m. And I've been just charting. Just looking at charts and looking at charts. Found something interesting on Ethereum. I want to share with you guys. I want to show you how I set up and how exactly I trade a double bottom. Because that's what I'm seeing right now on Ethereum. Stay tuned. I'm going to tell you all about it. All right, everybody, first things first. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. I simply share my technical analysis for informational purposes, educational, however you guys see fit to use it. But remember, you manage your own money. You manage your own risk. You trade at your own risk. All right, guys, so this is a blank chart with nothing but the three moving averages, uh, 21, 50, and 200. So you can do this with exponential, standard moving averages, uh, smooth, whatever. I, I've really gotten used to using the smooth moving averages, so I kind of stick with that now and RSI, and you don't have to set your RSI up, up this way uh, for this for this trade, but um, I tend to keep it now with just a center line because I like seeing the uh, RSI as a momentum indicator, not necessarily looking for overbought or oversold territories. Um, it doesn't really mean, mean as much as I used to think in the past. Overbought or oversold doesn't, isn't as important as I thought it was. Now, with that being said, we have a empty chart and first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up lines of support resistance and this is just going to be horizontal lines where we've seen um where we've seen price action now if i zoom this all the way in i'm not counting these wicks here down where the price action stopped uh, but where the candles closed from my bottom there and i could go all the way to the very bottom to the to this very low wick that's not necessary for this trade. That's generally going to be my support resistance line. Just a quick draw. They don't have to be perfect, but they, they just got to be in a general area. Now, what I also want to do is show what the expectation is for the um, for the double bottom. So bottom, rebound and rejection, double bottom, rebound with a break of resistance. That's it, that's a double bottom. And it, this draw is not perfect, but it's very close. So I wanna show, this is the, uh, typically what you would look for with a double bottom. Let me get these lines out of the way here and uh, show you what I look for, what I need, what confirmations do I need. So first thing is a trend line. This is the current downward trend line. You see the, the rejection here of the trend line on top of the support resistance line rejection and a trend line rejection. And we need to break this trend line. So I'm gonna make this yellow uh, just for ease. Now our neckline also needs to break. Our neckline gonna be right here. And I'm gonna make that orange. Nope, I'm gonna make that green because green is gonna be your, that's gonna be where you enter. You wanna enter at the break of the neckline. And then here, right around the midpoint of the, the uh, rejection in the bottom, somewhere near the midpoint, is going to be our stop loss. Now, if you want, you can also take this profit taking target would be here, um, and that would be roughly $4,000. What other confluences are we looking for? Because we've got a trend line. We know we've got to break the trend line. Then we've got to break the neckline. Neckline needs a break before we buy. What we also have is we have our low here, and then we have our double bottom low here, same spot. But we have bearish or bullish RSI divergence. 
because we have an RSI here and the same low with a much higher RSI here. So we go from a low, from a valley of an RSI reading at 23 to an RSI of 29.74. So you can see that there's, there's an angle there, there's a straight line here, there's an angle up here. That is a bullish divergence that tells you that bullish momentum is on the way. And you can already start to see that because we're starting to make a nice bullish candle here. And this may actually break sooner than I anticipated. Might be why I can't sleep yet. But we have bullish divergence. We know we have our trend line needs to break. Neckline needs to break. We buy the break of the neckline. Stop loss here before you cross back over. If this breaks out here, your stop loss needs to be before you cross back into the trend line. That's it guys, it's an easy trade. Um, you just gotta find them. You have to find the double bottoms. And actually I have one on Bitcoin where you should be able to see, Bitcoin is very similar right now. Bitcoin made a double bottom and it has um, a very bullish divergence here. You can see the low, the highest low on price is the lowest low on the uh, RSI. And the last time we had a very clean double bottom 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 with bullish divergence with a clean midpoint look we break this neckline quite frankly just by this candle here and it went up it never got back to the neckline so it would never even gotten close to your stop loss stop loss would have probably been about here about the midway point but i bet i guarantee you it hit the take profit area yeah rather quickly it hit take profit and it went, it went beyond. So I've got alarms set up right now for Bitcoin and Ethereum for the break of the neckline and the break of the uh, trend line. So that's it guys, there's, there's a previous example and then what's actually happening now, but the, the bullish divergence on these lows is super important. Um, it really does help show the momentum shifting back to bullish. So with that being said guys, that's the video. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, sorry, <laughs> the voice isn't as enthusiastic. Everything is not quite there yet, but uh, I'll be working to get back. Until next time, peace.